Greetings, dear ones. Blessings and peace. I am Chong Fu. In these days in your world, you are being asked to open your hearts, to really feel inside yourselves where the strengths lie that you can bring forward for yourself, for your relations, for your friends, for your family, for your children, for your students, for your clients, for your colleagues. Each one of you is asked to find the strength within. I'm sure you have noticed that it is a very unusual time. This time of transformation, this time of rising up into your strength, into your personal power. Really trusting that you are connected to the divine source of all love and light within. This test is upon you, you could say, to find out where the, where the weaknesses are, where your doubts are, your fears. Don't be surprised. Don't think, oh no, you know, I really thought I was better than that. Or don't judge yourself. This is a very strong initiation, a very demanding test. You can probably feel that there are, you know, so many beings with so many opinions, so much information, so much in a way vying for your attention, your mind space, your eyes, your heart space, your feelings. So that is why I'm always coming forward to say to you, come back to yourself, come back inside. Come back to what feels good and what makes you feel strong and well. Well, of course, you know that always is love. That always is self-affirmation. That always is whatever makes you feel safe, confident, comfortable. And you might say to, to me, well, you know, I can't really feel comfortable at the moment, Chong Fu, because I can't do what I want. I can't go where I want. And I am restricted to where I can be and what I can do. And I say to you, that precisely is the test. And yes, it is, in a sense, a, a test designed to rather destabilize you, but don't buy it. Just don't get destabilized. Imagine that you had decided of your own accord to do everything that you are doing. Make it your decision, make it your choice. Try not to buy too much into the idea that you are being forced to do anything. And there's a really strong reason why I say that. Because if you believe that you are being forced, even if you could say, well, no, Chong Fu, we are being forced. But all I'm saying to you is, no, you're choosing to go along with something. It's your choice, you're deciding, I'll go along with it. I want you to hang on to that feeling of, I decided, I chose. Because within this situation, you are always having to make choices. What you think, what you believe, what you listen to, what you watch, what you don't listen to, what you don't watch, who you believe. But my point to you is, just because somebody turned the volume up in your neighbor's garden when the music was blaring out, you can still meditate in your home. You can still build that strength that brings you into safety, security and certainty within your being. It's so good for you to do exactly that. To decide how you want to feel and then move towards feeling just like that. Every time you get a new piece of information or somebody says something that kind of destabilizes you a little bit, it makes you feel a bit rocky, a bit insecure, take a breath and remember you have a choice. You can either listen and say yes, or you can listen and say no, or you can just say I don't want to listen, or you can, you know, also listen and say I don't know. I have an open mind. What matters is how you feel. And here is 
really the golden rule. If it makes you feel afraid, if it makes you feel destabilized, insecure, anxious, walk away from it. Because at this time, what matters more than anything is that you maintain a positive vibration. There are very deep reasons why I'm saying this very simple thing to you. Trust me. You can go around and listen to all the spiritual teachers. You can also go around and listen to every bit of news. It will still be true that the best thing for you to do is maintain a very steady, beautiful, loving, compassionate, open-hearted, generous energy, energy field. And when you notice that it's all sort of imploding in on you and it's all beginning to feel a bit stressful and full and overwhelming, again, take a nice big breath, open up. It's just like opening the windows and letting the sun shine in. You are a creator being. You are also your own creation. And you have the power to decide every moment how you're going to feel, how you're going to think, and what that thinking and that feeling is going to lead you to believe. I strongly encourage you to believe in yourself to believe and know that you are connected to divine and benign beings of light who are protecting you, who have your very best interests at heart. Whatever is going on upon the earth, whatever anybody else tells you, however much they may, if you like, believe and be even honest and truthful, it is not what matters. What matters is your reality. What matters is your strength, your ability to determine your field, the vibration that you emanate, because it is the vibration that you emanate that determines what happens to you. Whatever the political, economic, physical, emotional, mental situation, what determines your experience is your vibration, your resonance, your field. It's a very simple law of attraction. And sometimes you can lose sight of that when there's a great big, you know, global drama going on like there is at present time. Your work every day is to bring yourself back to your center. Take big, deep breaths and remember that you are beloved of the divine beings, that you emanate from the heart of God is God, that you are yourself a most wonderful vessel of that very divine love whence you originate. That is why you're here on earth, to literally emanate love, to bring it like a food, like a nectar into the hearts, minds, beings of all those other beings in the world with whom you have dialogue, connection, relationship. There is nothing else that you are here to do that is more important than to maintain the beautiful resonance of your heart, love, energy. Everything else depends upon it. So right now, just take a breath with me in this moment of your life. Bring yourself right back into your heart, feel your heart. Perhaps put your hands on your heart or maybe one on your heart, one on your belly. Take a nice big breath and remember this is me. I am the living spirit here within this body. I breathe my spirit into this body and its beauty and its wholeness to be fully present here upon the earth. 
I bring all the colors of my soul to fill my body with light, with power and energy of love, with positivity that lifts me up every moment that comes direct from the source into my being. And expand your field, seeing it full of light, colors, beauty, kindness, love. I am the living embodiment of my higher self. I am the living incarnation of love. I bring this light to shine in every moment of my life. I am guided by this light to walk forward on my soul's path and to bring beauty, truth, love to resonate in this world. Everything I need comes to me in every moment as I see what I need and I know what I need. And as I open my heart, I easily draw it towards me in the beauty way, with the greatest of ease. This ability to have total faith in your power, in your magnetism, in your life is of great importance, especially at this time, and especially during any time of difficulty, of stress, strain, anxiety, change and transformation. I give thanks for all that I have, for all the gifts already given to me. I give thanks for the abundance that pours towards me. I give thanks for safety and protection around me. And I give thanks that I am always in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And that in this moment in my life, I am creating the future of my dreams in my heart and in my mind. I am creating the pathway that leads forward to all that I am manifesting. And I give thanks for my life and for all these opportunities of creation in my life. Blessings and peace. We give thanks to all the guides and helpers, family relations and ancestors working and walking with you. We give thanks to all the ascended beings of light, the angelic and archangelic beings and deities. We give thanks for the light that shines from the cosmic central sun into all of the universe and here upon the earth. Shines into the hearts and minds of all who carry this light forward. This is a light that expresses transformation, regeneration and rebirth for all of humanity at this time. And give thanks to the solar lords and deities and to the elemental spirits, powers and deities. Giving thanks for this opportunity for your soul. To work with all the elemental deities of earth, air, fire and water. And thanks for all your allies, relations and familiars within the worlds of nature giving thanks for the overlighting protection, the love and blessings, the peace and grace, the wisdom, inspiration, healing and compassion of the all-in-one divine presence deep within each and every one. 
blessings and peace. And if you love our videos on the Chong Fu channel, then please do subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our new uploads and new transmissions. Blessings and peace. Blessings and peace.